It's really been surreal for me to be featured in Forbes magazine at 10 years old, receive a commendation from President Barack Obama, or be one of Oprah's youngest super soul 100 change makers. All of this is something that I never could have imagined when I started at eight years old. My name is Maya Penn. I'm a 21-year-old entrepreneur. I'm also an environmental activist, an artist, an animator, and a sustainability consultant. I really started my company because I wanted to combine the two passions that I have, my passion for the environment and my passion for art and design, which is how I came to sustainable fashion. I was always super, super hands-on in every aspect of my business, drawing out the logo, and I built my first website when I was 10 years old in HTML. I was doing the branding, the marketing, I was taking the pictures. I was really learning through trial and error. So here are a lot of the designs that I've created. They are all made from either recycled, vintage, or organic materials. Here's a blouse that I made from remnant materials, I hand painted on. Being an entrepreneur is not only about building a business, but also really building yourself as a person. And I think that it's so crucial to bring the human side and the heart-centered side of entrepreneurship to the forefront. Here is a scene from an animation I created for a short film that I'm working on. Animation is actually my first passion that I had before fashion design. I started creating animated flipbooks when I was three and four years old, and then by the time I was seven and eight, I was creating animated short films digitally on my dad's old MacBook. So I made a bunch of watercolor paintings on this canvas paper, just like this, and then I scanned it into the computer. I actually used the same technique for a Women's History Month animation that I created for GoDaddy. I really saw the power of how this medium can make change and inspire others. And so that's what led me to start my own animation production company. And I'm personally focused on job creation for black, brown, and indigenous people, as well as women in the animation industry. And so we've created animation for Hulu, for Attention, Adobe, Luna, GoDaddy. I just really want to use this medium to empower, educate, and inspire as many people as I can. So I've been using GoDaddy since 2009, and GoDaddy has really helped me to capture all of my ideas in a sense. Jen, do you want to go ahead and pull up the website and we'll just kind of walk through it again? One of the first things that we did, I know that you were saying like maybe a little bit more greenery. So I definitely sprinkled some more assets in there. You really basically captured what I had in my mind. Awesome. We'll go ahead and, and set your site live. Thanks, Maya. This has been my first time using the GoDaddy website builder. And I'm somebody who's used a number of different e-commerce platforms. And GoDaddy has really, really stood out. A lot of the analytics and a lot of analytic features are not just about the numbers and the data, but it's actually helping to lay out a sort of game plan, helping to lay out strategy. And I really, really enjoyed just how streamlined the entire process is and how much time that it really helps save the entrepreneur. I always have to remember when I started my company at eight years old and that was really taking a risk. I didn't know how Maya's ideas would really turn out when I started it. Now, I have to look back to my eight-year-old self. She took this leap and she took this risk and she started this business and it snowballed into something really awesome. So whenever I feel unsure about taking a leap or taking a risk, I look back to my younger self for that inspiration. 